time, everybody clap your hands. hands. As you guys may know by now, we have three boys. We have a set of twins that are seven, and then we have a little guy who's two. I thought I would make a video about how we keep up on laundry. Um, there's one thing that's always, always, always here that is never done at our house is laundry. Um, pretty much, I got a kiss. Wash and dry our clothes maybe three times a week, and uh, maybe once a week we actually put them away. We've noticed that if we don't put them away once a week, it just kind of gets overwhelming. Three boys is really fun, but keeping up on their laundry is not. Here they are. One, two, three. <laughs> Here they are. There's the three of them. I'm in their room. You want to do one, two, three again? Uh -huh. Okay, they want to do one, two, three again. Ready? One, two, three. Yay. This may work for us. It may not work for anybody else. We do both work. A lot of what we do, we do together. So, and laundry is something that we do together also. So here we are. He's come in with another batch of clothes. Where's Lumar? <laughs> Grabby mommy. Grabby. Here we go. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Help me. Help me. Help me. So these are all clean. The floor is pretty much as clean as it'll ever get with three boys. It's not filthy dirty. It's not the super cleanest. So it's clarty. It's clarty. Mm -hmm. okay. Silas, look it. Good job. Daddy, Okay, so that's pretty much step one. This is about two loads of laundry. Maybe three. It's red. It looks really bad right now, but it's not. Ryan's taking out hangers and throwing them on the ground, and I have a unique method to it. They've got don't like new chonies don't open it. and stuff for um, Christmas, so I'm just kind of doing throwing stuff in a box for right now. Okay, that's a ziplock. This is how Silas helps usually. The cutest thing here are these little bees. The little Okay, I'll leave you Silas has decided he's gonna help us also by doing absolutely nothing. And with this many of us in here, it's a little bit warm. So, no, make sure that hanger doesn't go in the fan, okay? Thank you, son. All right, we're doing good. What I've started to do is I've put stuff in piles and I hand it to the boys to be able to put away. Okay, these are all of your chonies. Please put them where they go. So they pretty much know where their underwears and stuff goes, so he's going to put them back. Jonah's helping by going through all of this mess here. His portion of the bunk bed, and he's actually folding them. And this little guy. And this little guy has cute feet. Look at his little feet. We are bound to have at least, like, maybe one or two broken hangers because Silas just steps on them and they break. But you know what? If that's the only casualty we have, that's okay. While we're doing all of this, we try to have as much fun as we can. Open the bottom door. Silas was singing to us a few minutes ago. Yes. And Silas also helps. Jonah handed his brother Malachi all of those clothes to put away. And Silas helps by opening the drawer. We've been doing this for about 10 minutes. And by 6 o'clock, I hope to be cooking already. So we'll see. A doing good. That laundries together, laundries together. Mommy, I can't take it. I can't take it. Here you go, babe. I don't need hanger management. I don't need hanger management. Get it like anger, but not anger. Can you grab them, hanger. princess? Hanger management. There's a green one. Don't let it. Get it. Hanger management. Here you go. There's my little reader. What's in there? So Silas will be doing his own thing and then 
like if their twin hands are full, they'll ask Silas, can you help me? And Silas somewhat knows where the clothes go for the boys too. They just, Silas likes to be included, so we just have to ask him and he's more than happy to help. I feel like we see land. Do you guys feel like we see land? No, that one has come. Are you gonna, oh, he'll wear that to school, you think? I don't know what you are doing. That's a complete waste of my time. So sometimes they need a little bit of guidance. Like Malachi's decided that he's going to fold every single one of his um, clothes and, I don't know, have a yard sale on top of his toys or on top of his toy thingy that he's not supposed to stand on or sit on and he's doing both. So you just got to redirect them every once in a while because you know what? They're seven. Stuff like this happens. What you say, Yen? Where did the freckle frog jump? Where it was? Nice and cool. Woohoo! Hey, little freckle frog. Hey, little freckle frog. Right there, all of those socks may have those. Perhaps. Just put this in Gorney's room. Malachi. This, this is PJ's. This right here. I need more. <coughs> with your socks and stuff. And, I mean, yeah, with your gloves. And that goes in front. Oh, Mia, Mia, Mia. Please don't put your socks in there one by one. Oh, <coughs> Malachi, come here. These are your underwears? Ouch. <laughs> I got you. Um, Jonah, come here. Uh, these are like your night night stuff. Oh, your t shirts, they go in the closet. These are Silas size, right? Let me see, yeah. There's like neon yellow or green ones. <laughs> Gentle with mommy, you be gentle with mommy. You be gentle with mommy. You know what I like? Huh? You like them, you said? <laughs> He's mean. Careful. Here's one more. Do you want to catch? Alright, what time is it? Five to okay. You have that sweater, baby. I'll hang it up. Let's round sweater? up all these hangers. Push them over to the wall so we can have, we have that sweater. And well, that's my clothes. There should be the one more. Those right are, next to that, there should be Baby, those one. are both mine. Those are both yours? Yes. You're certain? Yes, those are my PJs. Okay, guys. Sorry. Ryan just, like, gave me a mini heart attack. This is what the floor looks like now. We're pretty much done. That pile, um, I can't point. Okay, that pile over there, I'm pointing to the left. Like, okay, I'm pointing to the right because I'm on the camera, but like, it's you. really to the left. <laughs> Ryan just told me that there's two more laundry baskets of stuff to put away. There isn't two more loads of stuff yeah. to put away. The only... <laughs> Is there any way that we can leave the two-year-old alone? I just want to hug him. Can we just leave him alone so we can finish doing what we need to do? Okay. Thank you. Anyway, so he just like gave me a heart attack because I actually, for my PJs and stuff, <laughs> for my PJs and stuff, I have like this, it's a cute little, it's a laundry basket, but it has like a cover on it. So I just keep my PJs in there. There's no point in hanging them up. So I just kind of know the PJs are in there. That one and then one of my clean laundry baskets was all coming here in a little bit, okay? I've been offered a strawberry, which I don't want, but he's insisting that I take it. Oh, can I have a strawberry? Yeah, can you feed it to me? Feed it to me. Feed me. So, we're pretty much done. These clothes need to be hung up, and then... Good job, bubs. Are you going to hang those up? We're all done. Cookie, Santa? No, thank you. Open the closet for your brother. Okay. I want a cookie. Okay. You were giving... Your brother's right behind you. Silas! What did you give me? 
you want the strawberry? Yes, can you? Actually, I want a sandwich. Can you cut it in half for me? Papa, he gave me a sandwich and he cut it in half. He didn't give me one. Um, can you do me a favor? Do you husband? want the straw, baby? Sure. Mm -hmm. Can you can you take the green thing out? Go. I did not know. It. Go. The dirt. Mm -hmm. The. Okay. Um, Brian, Malachi broke the um, closet. Do we want to just do Silas's laundry too? Okay, let's grab those then. Go get the laundry basket from Silas. Long sleeve. The stuff that's over here is there's some of it that we kind of can wear right now. Hey, what are you doing? I was trying to figure out what this was, but I think from the smell of it, I think it's a baby wipe. It went through the washer and the dryer. Looks funny. Pair up these socks. Malachi, go through these really quickly. Um, stack them up and put them in Gorney's room. So I know our house that goes through this. These socks over here, I think this happens in every home. We're done doing laundry and these little guys have no home. I don't know where they go. I think, honestly, truly, they are what we call lint in the dryer. They're gone, they're gone. That's it, you guys, we are done. This is what the boys, the twins closet looks like. Pretty much everything's hung. We were actually able to go through some of their clothes and um, get rid of some stuff that is kind of getting ready to fit their brother. Here we have all of their socks and here we have like their shorts and stuff. We actually have to go through that drawer and these are where their PJs go. Their robes are hung up here. I'm gonna just vacuum their room really quickly all right, everyone, that's all for today's video. Let me know how you guys do laundry at your house and how you keep up with it. We don't have a super, super large family. Keeping up with clothes for three boys sometimes gets to be a little bit crazy. Let me know what works for you guys. I really, truly am curious how you guys keep up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go.